everyone, it's me again, Doris Kiwi Scrapper from New Zealand, and I'm here to do part four of my swap with Patricia in Belgium. And this has absolutely proved to be an, an amazing swap. She has just been so generous. So I'm just going to continue showing the little, all the gorgeous things she sent. Just beautiful. This is probably going to go into a part five because there's still so much left in the box, all packaged up. So it definitely is going to go into a part five. Just getting out some of this beautiful things she sent, you know, she shared with me. Just amazing. I mean, she has been so generous. Wow. I thought when she said her box was two kilos, I thought, because mine was a kilo, and I thought, you know, I thought I had, I, although I had to take quite a bit out at the post office, which I was really upset about, I thought that, um, you know, that my box was pretty full, but <laughs> she put double. It's, aren't they gorgeous? Look at all those. Well, it's bling, bling, bling. So much bling. It's just, oh, and little tiny pink doodads, and oh, look at these bead caps. Look at that. Wow. I haven't made any stick pins for ages. I was just thinking that the other day. So it's high time I got down and made, made a needle book for myself. Because I've made needle book for um, in a swap with, with uh, Kay, Cassigan's one in England a while ago. I made her a, a needle book, but um, and she made me an amazing needle book because that was part of our thing. She just, it was just a amazing. It was like an album. Look at that. These are gorgeous bead caps. That's amazing. I wonder where she gets these from. All different colours. Wow. These are just, oh my gosh, look at these. Oh, good gracious me. More bead caps here. Look at these beautiful bead caps. Wow. This is certainly going to encourage me to on oh, these gorgeous little pink, um, tiny little doodads. Look at that. It's amazing. Oh, and here's these little ceramic flowers, the tiny that she's used in, in the um, on her on her wall hanging. Isn't this just gorgeous? Look at these. They've got crowns at the top. Just gonna show you those. Oops, that's a frame, sorry. Aren't they amazing? I'll zoom in. You'll see all the wrinkles in my hand, but that's alright. At 63 I'm entitled to some wrinkles on my hand. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. That's gonna be fabulous. Right, I'm not gonna pick up all of these because they're just repeats of what I've done and they're just all so gorgeous. But if I do that, I'll be going into part six. <laughs> oh, Patricia. Wow. Okay. Listen, honestly, it's, it's like opening Christmas packages here. Oh, this is a little gift for your fur babies. <laughs> Two of them are hanging. Two of them have gone outside to enjoy the sun. Our little rescue dog, Brim, the eight-month-old, he absolutely adores laying in the sun. Now he's the only short-haired dog we've got. The others are all long, long fur, so they don't enjoy the sun. They like the shade. Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh gosh, they're gonna have fun with this. The speed is great. My golden retriever and my papillon are sitting sitting just outside the door. <laughs> oh, Patricia, this is fun, fun. <laughs> I'm going to have fun with these. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. Squeak it. Oh, they're going to have so much fun with those. Patricia, thank you so much. I never thought to put anything in for her fur babies. I didn't want to put any food in because, you know, I didn't like... It. Our customs, when you go through postage, have got um, have got sniffer dogs, and I was thinking, I was thinking if I put anything, for, you know, like biscuits or anything like that for treats, um, that the sniffer dogs would be, 
I don't know in Belgium if they've got sniffer dogs at their customs for postage and stuff like that but we have here and I was thinking if I put biscuits and treats in that they would you know the sniffer dogs would <laughs> we'd go crazy and they'd think we had drugs or something horrible in there so this is the Tussie Mussy that we did for our swap so we had a wall hanging Tussie Mussy um, two button fairies or angels and um, and a mystery item All right, so this is the Tussie Mussy and if you want to see what I made for Patricia you'll have to pop over to her channel Pat S or you can scroll down on my older videos that were not too older only, only like three or four weeks four weeks ago maybe um, and you'll see um, separate videos that I made for that I showed for what I made her oh this is lovely it's big it's bigger than the one I sent it's like the one I made for Christmas for the Marie Antoinette group um, when I followed Wendy's that's Lolly Dolly Crafts over in England I followed her, tutor her tutorial um, for, for um, making Tussie Mussies out of paper and I think that's probably what this is made of and I was thinking at the time well they, they won't be very strong but once you've embellished them with all your fabrics and your other embellishments they're really sturdy and they're like as big as this this is probably done by a 12 by 12 sheet because that's what I did my one and it was as big as this so here we've got beautiful little glitter white flowers aren't they gorgeous lots and lots of crochet flowers put in over the with doodads in the middle these will all be um, these will be Patricia's own crochet. This is vintage doilies here, I think. More of Patricia's beautiful crochet, crochet work. Gorgeous flowers. Lots of embellishments tucked in. There's um, more flowers there. Beautiful lace, corded lace um, with sequins and bead, pearl beads. So this will be a uh, wedding applique from a wedding dress. And underneath that, there's two, looks like two layers of, um, of lacy fabric. And that applique goes all the way around. All the way around here. Right, that was a big applique, unless it's two, but I can't see the drawing, but it's big. Um, and over this side, we've got um, beautiful pearl embellishments as well. And these Patricia's lovely um, crochet flowers. Oh, one of her crochet butterflies. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Got double wings. Another vintage doily. Oh, did I show that to you? Yes, I did. Yes, I, I'm at the front again. Um, and at the top, we've got this um, lovely fringed. This looks to be avocado dyed, I would think, because I think originally this one is white or ivory. But she's um, dyed it. I th it, look, it sure looks like that in avocado. I loved avocado dyeing. I like tea dyeing as well. We've got the beautiful little um, ceramic roses up here with the pink centers and a lovely crochet type lace up the top here. Beautiful frill of all, like organza frill. Isn't that lovely? And her handle is um, a beautiful trim. Now I don't know whether she bought it with these flat back pearls in it or whether she put them in. But this beautiful frilled up little um, feels like some kind of satin or maybe silky stuff beautiful lovely long long handle and that's that these are always hard to show I'm sorry and that's the top beautiful um, very finely crocheted um, doily stretched over the in, you know the padding and the stuffing that we all put in and lovely one of Patricia's um, embroidered flowers and these are like it's like a clover like they're four hearts beautiful and with a pearl bling in the middle that is gorgeous Patricia absolutely beautiful and we've got here we've got some um, from this beautiful cream crochet flower and that's that's another Patricia crochet flower lots of eyelash trim here we've got dangles as well now I think that might be the same lace that she's used on the handle. Yes it is. So she has put those flat back pearls on. 
look at this we've got trim and flat back pearls here crochet lace and other laces and ribbons but she gets some pretty ribbons I'm not sure where she gets them from but they're lovely oh that's gorgeous thank you very much Patricia that's so beautiful and all this eyelash trim here it's just gorgeous just lovely so that's oh right down the bottom here we've got some some more of this some um, lovely organza frilled lace that uh, frilled trim and up here as well the beaded um, trim here that she put on the handle we've got lots of that lovely um, avocado dyed um, trim you know dangles and here right in the middle we've got these, this beautiful crystal and this is the same crystal that she's got on her on the wall hanging it's a beautiful one I should have to ask her where she gets those from as well <laughs> thank you so much Patricia that is beautiful and the dogs are going to love love those um, oh my gosh there's more here another layer <laughs> I thought I was I thought I was coming to the I thought I was at the bottom layer oh a little gift I'm going to, what am I going to open next? A mystery. Okay. Surprise item. There you go. We decided that we'd do a mystery item for each of us. I did a little altered baby shoe for her. And there is a video on my channel. Very recently that I showed her that. Because I had to wait until she received my package to her so this is my mystery item I have no idea what this is just like she had no idea what I had done for her either now that beautiful um, tissue paper oh look oh we've got two wow that's lovely now this is a pin cushion oh how gorgeous very Victorian in style oh look at that Beautiful paper at the bottom with these four little pearl, flat back pearl feet on it. Gorgeous little trim here. That's dainty. I've got a, I've got a bigger version and it's in bright pink. I don't know why. I, I don't know where I got it from, but it's very pretty. But I haven't been able to use it yet because because of the colour. But I will be using it. Beautiful trim around here. These embroidered trims. The same matching thing up here. That looks like a ribbon. Oh no, that's the top of the trim. Yeah. Look at this cluster here of flowers, and they're all glittered up. Beautiful. A little butterfly right in the middle there, a very dainty little wooden butterfly. Is it wooden? Yes, wooden butterfly with a little um, Aurora Borealis um, trim there, very dainty. And more of the butterflies, look, aren't they beautiful? Oh my goodness, look at this beautiful centre. Wow. Now I think she's done that because that's one of these larger flat back pearls with the Aurora Borealis trim. That is a beautiful trim. Gracious and beautiful little flower there. We've got acrylic leaf up here. Oh no, it's not acrylic. Yes it is, I think. Leaf there, little spray, dainty sprays of pearls on here. Beautiful. Another leaf here. Now some more leaves up here that she's done and put them on little thin wires wow well she might have bought them like that but and here we've got a big ribbon big white satin bow and this little trim here with the ivory um, flat back pearl well this is just gorgeous this very vintage um, looking lace that she's put over the satin which is a beautiful sort of pale golden ivory satin that is gorgeous I won't have to make my needle book now. No, I won't because I've got that. I can stick my stick pins in. Now, this is, this is, oops. Go back in there. If you hear a wolf, that's my dog, my golden retriever or my papillon. This is lovely. Now, I've got to figure out how to open this. Oh, okay. This has got a, what they call a belly, was it belly band? I think they call it. That's beautiful. So there's a stick pin just falling out. Isn't that lovely? Look. She's done that so prettily. That's another of her crochet flowers. Isn't she so clever? They're just gorgeous. And one of these lovely pearlized resin roses in the middle. Lovely stretchy piece there for the belly band and pink lace. That is gorgeous. This itself is 
I'll just take that stick pin out as well. The little closure is just gorgeous, made up of this beautiful shimmery paper in pinks. And look at these. Wow. These are beautiful. Got to find the hole for that one. No, I can't find the hole. I think it's just probably just jabbed in there, so I'll just jab it in as well. Yep, there it is. Jab that one in. Aren't these beautiful? Wow. This, got, this one's got these beautiful wings on it. And this, this is hearts. This is a butterfly on that one. Oops. Now come on, behave yourself. Get in there. That's it. These are gorgeous. And this one has got a dangly angel. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? You make wonderful stick pins, Patricia. These are just the die for. They are gorgeous.